So this is a video for how to set up the Fitbit Surge. As you can see, once it's on, it directs you to fitbit.com slash setup. So we're going to head straight there on the, the web browser. So let's have a look. So it's asking us to download the free software. So I'm using a Mac, so I'm going to download the Mac version and click that. Uh, and just install it on the Mac, uh, which should be easy enough. And it says, uh, once you set up, you can sync your data. So this is the Fitbit main screen. It wants me to plug in the wireless sync dongle, which came with it. So I'm just going to stick that in the side of my MacBook and we should see something happen on the screen there. So that's disappeared and it says hold tight and don't unplug your wireless sync dongle. So we'll just wait for that to uh, update. Um, so that's updated. Uh, it might not always do that depending on when you download the software and I want to click to set up a new Fitbit device. Uh, it says new to Fitbit existing user. I registered an account the other day so I'm just going to log into my account. Uh, of course at that point if you're a new user you could set up with Facebook or Google uh, and it wants all my kind of details and, and things like that. Okay, so once you've logged in, it asks you to select which Fitbit device you've got. I've got a Surge, so I'm going to click Surge. Uh, and it says, meet your Fitbit Surge. That's what you've got with it. So it says, power on your Surge and press and hold the home button for three seconds. Uh, then what happens is you've got a number on your display, which you have to enter into the screen as well. So it's 2473. So again, a lot of this process really is just a waiting game. So it wants the surge to be kept close to the dongle while it updates. So it says again, update and surge can take uh, five to 10 minutes. So once again, waiting game. So the software is now syncing the surge. It says this may take several minutes. And it says it'll sync whenever it's within 20 feet of the wireless dongle. So what you've got now is just a screen with kind of health and safety tips and where to wear it on your wrist. Um, it says for better readings, wear the band tight and higher up your wrist, so maybe two to three uh, lengths up. And then we've got navigation instructions and all of that. And it says you're all set, go to dashboard. Dashboard takes you to this screen where you can see all of your data and stats. Um, it kind of depends on what you log in terms of food and things like that. The other thing to note for setting up the Fitbit is if you've got the app already, you can log in on the app. And what you should find is that the surge will already be there, just up there. Uh, so it's looking for it. So hopefully it will find it. Uh, it's found it, so the surge is already in your app straight away just from setting it up on your computer, which is really good. And then of course you can do things like your alarms and your call notifications uh, and change your clock faces and your goals uh, and things like that as well on there and select which wrist it is and music control um, and all that kind of thing and you sync it on there as well. So you can set all of that up um, via your app as well. So that was just a very quick video on how to set up the Fitbit Surge. I hope you found it useful and I'll bring you guys a review soon. Don't forget to check out the unboxing video as well and some of my other videos on this channel.